It's Down to Business with Jack Miller. Forget what they teach you in school. This is real life, not Wall Street, but Main Street. A real show on what's really involved with starting and running a business with all the ups and downs. Our guests will answer your questions and provide you with valuable information. Stay tuned and join in the conversation. When the earth was created... Uh I want to play my third weekly installment of Reb Shlomo Bregman. It's called How to Supercharge Your Career, but it actually really should be called How to Supercharge Your Life. And if his parents are listening, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Bregman. Pleased to meet you. We have that clip loaded up. Okay. Hey, how are you? It's uh, Rabbi Bregman. Just want to do a business-related clip for you right now. I'm in Brooklyn by the water on my way to a wedding. Um, Quick idea. I had an interesting call this week. An interesting conversation from a business person that reaches out to me periodically for advice, for direction, for strategy. And one of the key things the conversation turned towards was the question of what are the key drivers in your career, in your business, that really are the two, three, four things that really get you what you want to do. If you own a business, it could be a big business, a small business, certainly if you're a one man, one woman shop, you realize that you're involved in a hundred different activities a day, but you'll probably realize that most of your success, most of your revenue, most of your customer base, most of your expansion really comes from being involved in a couple specific activities. It could be meeting new clients, it could be making cold calls, it could be following up with existing people, it could be making videos, I don't know what you do, but whatever your business is, I'm pretty sure there's two, three, not more than four key things that are the drivers, that are really the things that if you do them, they're your foot on the gas pedal that really get you where you wanna go in your business. And then there's about a hundred other things you do, which are important and they have to get done, but they amount to busy work, And they're the kind of things that in an ideal world, in an ideal sense, you'll be able to farm out to somebody else. So I remember when I was a campus rabbi, long time ago, I remember there was two or three key things that I needed to do, which were the main drivers of the success of my program. Had to meet new students, had to follow up with them, and I had to plan trips and programs, okay? Those are the three main things. Whether, um, basically, you know, organizing the chairs for a Shabbat meal was important, had to get done. Not one of the key drivers of my success, but it had to get done. So in general, what you're gonna wanna do is find other people, other resources that you can marshal that you could basically get to whatever extent you can to farm out to them to do those kind of other activities. And that's something that I encourage you very much to do because uh, what you'll find is that you might say there's two or three things that account for almost all of your professional success when you do them, but the challenge is you'll find that they might account for almost all your success, but you might only spend five to 15% of your time actually doing them. So it was an interesting conversation I had with the CEO this week. He agreed with the point that I would challenge you to look at your career, your business, what you do, and ask yourself, what are the two or three main things, maybe four, but really two or three, that when I do them, things are rocking and rolling for me in my business and my career, and everything else, see if you could find others who you're able to farm it out to, whether it's an intern, staff, uh, you know, an hourly people, Elance, Odesk, whatever you got to do. Anyway, hope you enjoyed today's clip. Hope you enjoy the beautiful weather from Brooklyn, and we'll see you the next time. Be well. Reb Bregman, thank you very much. Very wise words. And I, I know with me, it's the same thing. I spend probably 10 12 hours a day working, and the truth is I'm only profitable for about an hour of it. I need to listen to his advice more because we all need to work smarter, not harder. And we all probably, or I'll speak for myself, get caught up in doing a bunch of minutia where we can get someone else to do that and we need to focus on our talents and our expertise. I have to correct something that I think, I hope I didn't say before. When I was talking about God-given abilities and talents and skills, I said if you can play the piano. I meant to say if you're in in sales, I-N sales. Somebody texted me and said, I said you're in sales. I did not talk about you're in sales. I talked about in sales, just for the record. 